What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is hashtag glow up for the um, sign of Cancer. This covers any if you have Cancer in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, charts. Stuff with the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. This is hashtag glow up. So, truth hidden is the negative aspect of things. Uh, trickery, deception, things people don't want you to know. Shy, crazy stuff behind the scenes. This is hashtag glow up. Focusing on healing, growth, expansion, um, um, building one's empire, etc., etc., etc. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 12,655 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. Um, it helps support a single mama and one of her income streams. So I truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. If you think anyone else would like my channel cancer, please, please feel free to share my channel very publicly on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So I haven't got any downloads yet, but I felt guided to do your reading next, so I'm doing it. Um, let's see. Okay. We have number 10, 32, 33, or 28. It could be very significant numbers in one's life. 10, 32, 33, or 28. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life, possibly. 10, 32, 33, 28. Also, 10 signify com completions of cycles. So I feel for some, you've already completed cycles in your life or you're about to complete cycles in your life. And you know, with completions of cycles, it starts new cycles, transformation into new cycles. So only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Now, one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. This is a free general reading. So you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit if you do fit, okay? Discernment. We have discernment, trust, door to romance, victory. A cancer is about to make a decision on a staycation or a vacation soon. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, cancer. So, decision time on staycation or vacation. So, I'm feeling like vacation, like away, like traveling, physical locations, um, to go on like a large vacation uh, for some, for some, or or staying in and having a staycation. So, discernment is the decision energy using your best discernment, logic, and reasoning on whether you want to travel. I feel long distances for a lot of you guys. For some, it could be short S type distances. For, or just staying in and doing it, I think, in your home and very, very close to your locale, if that resonates. So, staycation or vacation energy, if that resonates for you. And one cancer, they are deciding on whether to fold a prostitution business or not. Oh, okay. Well, this is glow up, but, um, I, okay. So one of you guys, um, you're making a decision on whether to fold a prostitution business or not. And one is making a decision on whether to cut their, pro their services from a prostitution, some a prostitution service, some a prostitute. Oh, okay. Whoa. A lot of prostitution energy. You plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys, you're deciding on whether it sounds like you own a prostitution business. Uh, you could be a sole proprietorship or in, in with a group of people. I don't know, but you're deciding whether to fold the business or not, whether it's you solely owning this business or somebody else. I feel it's probably a, for a lot of you guys, illegal businesses. I don't feel bunny ranch energy and I'm just being for real. I don't feel it's bunny ranch energy. Um, I feel it's illegal prostitution businesses. So you're deciding whether to fold it or keep it. I, whether you do it by yourself or with uh, somebody else, I don't know. 
And for one of you guys, you're deciding whether to cut your, you are a purveyor of prostitution services, service or services, if that resonates for you. And you're making, it sounds like you're about to make a discernment, a decision using your best discernment there, whether you want to keep utilizing prostitution service or services, how that resonates. So whether you want to keep utilizing and paying for sex basically or whether you want to keep offering your sex services and i strongly don't feel it's bunny ranch energy i'm just being real for real whoever that is for trust An alliance is about to be formed between a cancer and another person. You trust this person. Okay, but that's a good one. I heard an alliance is about to be formed uh, between you, cancer, if this message resonates with you, between you and another person. I heard you trust this person. So I think they have proven their um, integrity, honesty, morals, values, etc., 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 to you in the past. And that's why you trust them. Um, I heard an alliance is about to be formed between you and this person. So you have trust with this person. It sounds like trust is already built up. Um, I think they have demonstrated some reason why you trust them is what I'm feeling here. And you're about to form an alliance with them in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, whether this is business alliance or any other kind of alliance, I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But you definitely trust them. But I feel they have given you reason to trust them, whoever this person is. I don't feel they lie to people or to you or um, I definitely don't feel they're a liar. I don't feel they're a cheat. I don't feel they steal. I don't feel they do low vibrational things in the universe. I think you know this. And I think that's one of the reasons why you trust them. And I think they're very loyal. So you plug it in how it resonates. So alliance energy about to be formed between you and another person. If this resonates for you, cancer. You definitely trust them, but in all fairness, uh, I think they have proven their loyalty and trust to you over time. If that resonates for you. Door to romance. To swing or not to swing. Oh, what, Lord have mercy, Cancer. Whoa, what is going on in here? <laughs> oh, God. I just heard to swing or not to swing. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, wow. To swing or not to swing. So um, for one of you guys, I think that's the question you're asking yourself is what I'm presuming. Or you're about to be asking yourself to swing or not to swing. Now, I automatically think swinger energy um, with that. Just for real, for real. We got door to romance with the message of to swing or not to swing. So I think you're about to be asking yourself this, or you are asking yourself this now. To Do you want to swing, become a swinger, or do you not want to swing? Um, and it's we've got the door to romance card. So, I mean, that's sexual energy all day long. It's not love, obviously, but it is the sexual department. Um, do you want to become a swinger, or do you not want to become a swinger? For some, you could already be swingers, and you're asking if you want to continue to swing. Only you know your story, not anybody else. That is the question. Just saying, just saying. To swing or not to swing in here. Oh, Lord. I've never been a swinger. I've never been interested in swinging. I don't, I, for me, personally. I, but maybe one of you guys, I think one of you guys has, thinking, has been thinking about doing it, or you have done it in the past, and you're thinking about whether you want to conti continue to do it. And honestly... I mean, I'm not judging that. I don't judge. But if you've done it in the past, at least you're asking yourself now if you want to continue to do it. That is a positive, positive, very positive, positive, positive question to be asking oneself. So, I mean, you, you go with your bad self. I hope you make the decision that is best for you. One cancer is about to be asked out on a date soon. Single is a Pringle cancer. Oh, well, congrats, single is a prinkle cancer. 
Um, you're about to be asked out on a date soon. So in this aspect, I do think it's actual romance. Uh, maybe hopefully there's feelings there or there will be feelings there. Or, you know, a date is, um, pretty much, you know, I've been single a long time, you guys. A long time. For anybody who doesn't know. Newbies just in. A long time. Single's a Pringle. I need one in the church. Just saying. I'm going to make me some. Just saying. And I'm going to put them on the channel for you guys too. But my point is, I've been single a long time. I've been around the block a long time. I, I know, like, I know about this kind of stuff. And a date is not, you know, depending on the situation. If you don't know this person and you go out on a date with them, obviously there's not going to be, there might be romance the first date if you allow it. But I would suggest putting boundaries up if you don't know this person. Uh, because sometimes people, especially in the romance department, they like to manipulate. Especially, uh, I'm not saying you have money, but if you have money, especially if you have money, beware. Because if they feel you have money and you don't know this person, they could be a, um, they could be a con artist. They could be um, trying to swindle you for all your money, for everything you have. So I would just be careful is what I'm saying. Uh, you're about to be asked out on dates. So, you know, your situation is your own situation. You might have known this person for 20 years. You might have known them for 15 years. You might... I mean, you might know they're a good person, is what I'm saying. For some, you might have never met them before, and they might be a scammer, con artist person. So just be careful, especially if you don't know this person. Heard you're about to be asked out on a date soon. So just, I'm not trying to make anybody scared or paranoid, but if you don't know this person, please don't, um, please don't give them money on the first date or any time until you can trust them, trust them, and use your best discernment. Um, especially if it's a first date, please. Now, if you've known them for 20 years and you know they're not a scammer, a frauder, a con artist, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you do you, honey boo boo. You're the manifestor of your own destiny. But one of you guys is about to be asked on a date soon. If you don't know this person, I would suggest using your best discernment. Of course, you could take the advice or leave it. You plug it in how it resonates. And a sex shop is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. Oh, Lord. And the sex shop is about to become very significant in the cancer's life. So, okay. I feel like um, pleasures or fantasies energy here. Um, if y'all don't know, those are sex shops. <laughs> sex shop is about to become very significant in cancer's life. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm single as a Pringle. I visit the sex shop. I do. Because um, I've got needs, too. Just because I do it by myself don't mean it. I ain't got needs. And that's just a damn truth. You know what I'm saying? So, um, hey. You go with your bad self and your sex shop energy. Whoever you are, and how that applies. Victory. A winning race is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. And a significant pair of tennis shoes. Okay, I feel athletic energy here. I feel exercise, possibly for some of you guys. A winning race and um, a significant pair of tennis shoes are about to become very significant in a cancer's life. So victory, maybe somebody's going to win this race. A harder winning race is about to become significant. So maybe you're about to win a race or somebody you're connected to is about to win a race. But somebody's about to have victory in a race soon, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. They're about to have victory in this winning race. And for one of you guys, a significant pair of tennis shoes is about to become significant in your life. So I think you're going to either love these uh, tennis shoes or hate them. Maybe you're going to have victory in finding a comfortable pair of tennis shoes. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Assessment. Assessment is what I just heard. Assessment. So for one of you guys, assessment, an assessment is significant. Maybe you're going to have victory in an, assess, an assessment or somebody you're connected to is going to have victory in an assessment, some kind of assessment energy. Now, I feel automatically, I feel that school related. It could be for some of you guys, it could be school related, but for some, it could be some other kind of related um, assessment. Um, but, you know, an assessment determines something, whatever the crap it is, whether it's educational related psychological related or any other means related um some kind of assessment energy i feel you're going to have victory in this assessment or somebody you're connected to is um or maybe you're creating an assessment however that resonates and one's life cancer
Okay. All right. We're done. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.